One simple step can save a life. That's the driving statement behind the National Kidney Foundation's annual Kidney Walk happening right now to fight kidney disease. Let's get right out to Local 10's Alex Finney, who left the studio. She's out in the streets getting some fresh air, vacated her chair yes. to head to Coral Reef Park in Palmetto Bay. Once again, another year of this, Alex. <laughs> Another year, you know, Andrew, you know I'm always up to something, okay? How dare I think that I can walk backwards and still do this walk and be live on TV, but we're making it all happen. We are at the Kidney Walk again this year. I want you to see just ahead of me, so many people are rounding the corner. Uh, this is a big event every single year. As so many of you know, this is something that I hold so near and dear to my heart because my father was diagnosed with kidney disease many years ago and he got his transplant last year and he actually has joined us uh, this year for the first time because uh he got his went through his year mark he got his clearance so he's out here and he is doing the work as well as we are walking for so many people that are affected by this deadly disease we are at kidney walk the national kidney foundation this has been going on for many many years and you know just to give people a little bit of information here uh, that may not know as we're kind of showing you how this walk is rounding the corner uh, here in Palmetto. But here's what we know. One in three adults in the U.S., that's about 80 million people are at risk for kidney disease. OK, so that is uh, just an alarming statistic as we are dealing with um, trying to raise more awareness as we have so many people that have lost their lives to this disease. And we have so many people that are on the list right now hoping to get a transplant. Kidney disease affects about 37 million people here in the US. So those statistics, of course, are really alarming. And uh, it's important that we all do as much as we possibly can for, to do the work for those uh, that can't do the work for themselves. And of course, do the work for those that have been affected. So. We got out here around nine o'clock this morning and we have been walk, walk, walk in. Let me tell you something. There are so many great events. And I know you're, you're taking a, uh, you have a, I guess a wide shot, if you will, of kind of what it looks like a little bit off in the distance there uh, as we have been talking to so many people who are still on the list. We of course talk to so many people who have been out here every single year and you know i was out here last year and it's so just so amazing to hear people's stories one gentleman who we met last year here at coral reef park uh he uh said that his son was on the list at that time last year i saw him again this year and he said his son is still on the list but they are hopeful there are so many people whose lives have forever changed in a lot of ways because they did finally get obviously that transplant that they so desperately needed. So the walk just got underway, the walking portion of this about 15 minutes ago. And I know I'm gonna be with you guys live all throughout the morning at Coral Reef Park to kind of fill you in on what it's looking like. And of course the donation. So I had a donation page, right? My goal was to raise a thousand dollars. We have exceeded that goal. So thank you to all of those that did donate. Uh, my, my fundraising page is sitting at about $1,100 right now. But the overall number for the walk here today, we are about $1,000, a few thousand dollars shy of actually reaching that goal. I know that the goal was $80,000. And last check, we're at about $72,000. So if you can, please donate, donate, donate for this life-changing work that's really going to help so many people. We have the details on our website, local10.com. I'm going to send things back to you guys because the walk has quite literally left me. My goal was to walk with everyone during this live shot, but that didn't quite work out because as you know, sometimes it's hard to walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> so I'm going to see you guys a little bit later on. I'm going to go over there. We're going to see what the numbers are looking like. We're going to talk to some people that are out here and I'll be back with you guys a little bit later on throughout the show. I'm going to tell you your jaw, your walk just turned into a jog now. So we'll catch <laughs> up with you. And I want to see Mama I Finney. I want to see Mama Finney later on. I know it's a family affair. We'll check back in with you later, do you Alex. You know what? <laughs> okay. Bye guys. <laughs>